So arithmetic is simply the branch of mathematics dealing with the properties and manipulation of numbers. So let's begin with the foundation, which is a number line. Now it's very important for you to understand the number line because it will help you with calculations in this topic and others. So zero is neither a positive nor negative number and to your left we have the negative numbers and to your right we have positive numbers. So let's look at uh, the rules when multiplying positive and negative numbers. So the first rule is positive times positive is equals to positive, negative times positive is equals to negative, positive times negative is equals to negative, and finally negative times negative is equals to positive. Okay, so let's look at some examples to further understand uh, these rules. All right, so number one, three minus four. So if you come on the number line, you say three, positive three, minus four, so you count one, two, three, four, you arrive at negative one. Number two, negative two plus three. So negative two plus three, so positive, you move to your right. One, two, three. So you land on one. And then the third example is minus three, minus one. So minus three, and then minus, meaning you move to your left, minus one, so you move once, then your answer will be minus four. The fourth example is minus two plus minus two. Okay, so from the rules, we know that positive times negative is equals to negative. So this will become minus two minus two, which is equals to minus two minus two, which is four. Then the last example is two minus negative one. Okay, so from this rule, negative times negative is equals to positive therefore it's going to be two plus one which is equals to three two plus one so plus you move in the right direction all right so it's very important for you to understand this because the questions in this topic will require you to understand the number line numbers okay so a number is a mathematical object used to count to measure and to label so there are various types of numbers. So here are a few examples. Number one, we have natural numbers. So the numbers that we use when we are counting or ordering are called natural numbers, e.g. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Then we have whole numbers. So these are numbers that include natural numbers and a zero. These numbers are neither fractions nor decimals, e.g. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Then we also have integers. So an integer is simply a counting number zero or the negative of a counting number they are neither fractions nor decimals e.g negative three negative two negative one zero one two three and so on then we also have decimal numbers so any number that contains a decimal point is known as a decimal number e.g 0 0.256 or 1.2 then we have rational numbers so rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as a fraction these include integers fractions or decimals that's e.g. 1 over 2, 2 over 3, 0.5, 6.7, and so on. And the opposite of rational numbers are irrational numbers. So these are numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction, e.g. the square root of 2 and also pi. Alright, so these are a few examples on numbers. Of course, there are other types like prime numbers, even numbers, odd numbers, and so on. But this is just a quick revision. Operations. Okay, so in mathematics, we have four basic operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and finally, division. So that's plus, minus, times, and division. So by grade 10, you should be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers with ease. All right, so let's look at order of operations. So this is the order in which you have to evaluate certain questions. And the order is known as board mass, which is brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So whenever given a question, begin with what's in the brackets, then followed by the square root and the powers, then multiplication or division, and finally addition or subtraction. Okay, so let's try to solve some questions from past papers. So question number one from 2015, GCE paper one. Question number two, 2016, GCE paper one. Question number three, 2014 paper one question number four 2012 paper one and finally some questions 
that I have set. So pause the video here and try to solve these questions alone and then follow along with my solutions. Okay, so these are my solutions. At the bottom we have the board mass guide, then we also have a number line. So question number one was from 2015 GCE paper one. Evaluate one plus seven times three. So we know from board mass that we begin with multiplication, which is going to be seven times three. Then we add that to one. So the first step is going to be one plus 21. Then one plus 21 is equals to 22. All right, so question number two, 2016 GCE paper one. Find the value of three minus three times three plus three. So again, we begin with multiplication, but you note that this is a negative number here. So it's going to be negative three times three, which is equals to negative nine. So the first step is three minus nine plus three. Now what's minus nine plus three? So we can use the number line. Minus nine is here and then plus three. So we're moving three times to the right. One, two, three, and we land on minus six. So it's going to be three minus six and then positive three minus six. So we move six times in the negative direction. We're going to get negative three. And then question number three, 2014 paper one, evaluate 14 plus three into seven minus two minus two times five. So using board mass again, we begin with what's in the brackets. So this three is going to multiply everything in the brackets. It's going to be three times seven, 21, three times negative two, minus six. So that's going to be step number one, 14 plus 21 minus six minus two times five. And then we have to do the multiplication here. So it's going to be minus two times five, which is minus 10. It's going to be the next step, 14 plus 21 minus six minus 10. Then we can just add 14 plus 21. Then we we'll get 35 minus 6 minus 10. Now remember from the number line, minus 6 is here. So if we say minus 10 again, we have to move uh, in a negative direction 10 times and we'll land on minus 16. Then 35 minus 16 is equals to 19. All right, then question number four. 22 paper one, evaluate seven plus 21 divided by three times seven minus seven. So we're going to begin with the division and the multiplication. So three into 21, we know goes seven times. So it's going to be seven plus seven times seven minus seven. So again, we have to deal with the multiplication here. Seven times seven is 49. It's going to be the next step. So it's going to be seven plus 49 minus seven. Then the next step is going to be 56 minus seven. So when add seven to 49, we get 56, then minus seven, and the final answer is 49. And then question number five. So the first one is evaluate three times, four times five squared divided by six plus seven minus eight. The second one is evaluate four plus eight squared times 30 divided by 5. So let's begin with the first one. So we begin with what's in the brackets first from board mass. It's going to be 4 times 5 squared is 25. It's going to be 4 times 25, which is equals to 100. So let's begin with the first step. It's going to be 3 times 4 times 25 divided by 6 plus 7 minus 8. Then we're going to get 3 times 100 because 4 times 25 is 100 then divided by 6 plus 7 minus 8. Then once we're here, we have to do either division or multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 100. It's going to be the next step. 3 times 100 is equals to 300 divided by 6 plus 7 minus 8. And then 6 into 300 goes in 50 times and then plus 7 minus 8. And then here, you can simply say 50 minus 1 because 7 minus 8 is negative 1. So 50 minus 1 is equals to 49. All right, so the second question is evaluate 4 plus 8 squared times 30 divided by 5. So again, we begin with the brackets. So 5 into 30 goes 6 times. Then we can continue from there. So the first step is going to be 
okay that and then we're going to get uh, 4 plus 64 times 6 so we have to multiply 64 times 6 then we add 4 to that so it's going to be 4 plus 384 and then we get 388 all right so that concludes this topic on basic arithmetic make sure you practice as many questions as possible in master the number line and board mass